Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another release from Aurora Miniatures, a fairly new company to the scene. Today we're taking a look at their Gunderson 6276 CF Plate F box cars. I know that's a mouthful, but we'll see what you get in this box and see what their box cars are about next. Okay, unboxing, pretty simple here. Flap on one end, plastic blister, soft plastic holding the model down, and there you have the box car. Let's do a 360 look at this in more detail. Start our way at the ends here where you'll see silver tipped airline hose the coupler which I believe is metal maybe not not sure on that we do have a crosswalk that's metal above the coupler separately applied brake wheel chain and coupler cut lever all painted the same color as the body the end ladder as well there's just a maybe a shade hair difference in color there that'll be kind of you to judge because not the best, but it looks like there might be on the separately applied parts versus the body itself. But you have a ladder rung there and a ladder for crew access on the ends. F box is on the side. This is the uh, Next Road Any Road TTX logo. And of course the road number, the load limit, and the specs there on the side are clear and legible. The ribbing and the basically how the box is put together. It's like a waffle pattern almost, but that's actually a different type of box car that's called a waffle. Um, this is um, very well done and pronounced. On the door itself, you can see the FRA mandated reflective striping. Uh, it's very easy to see on the door. I don't know if they actually put it on other parts of the car. I don't see it. So I'm not sure, but uh, maybe it's just, you know, meant to blend in. But you do see a separate door track, the door, which is supposedly press fit in there. Supposedly, and I'm not, I'm not going to test this, but you can pop the door out and kind of mount it to the side and have that open door effect. Um, so basically, I guess you'd have to, you know, kind of pry that out of there, but supposedly press fit in. But the door is nicely done along with the latches, which run up and down here separate and black all of the writings clear and legible and then you have the opening latch and all the directions for the latch to open and I guess the uh, these latches at the top and uh, the door basically bracing helps keep that door on the track in real life it's mounted to the door so that's cool TTX rail pooling experts here on this end and probably now is as good a time as any because it's a little hard to see, but the wheels have the stamped road reporting marks on them and they have those rotating bearing caps. So that's pretty neat as well. As we go to this end, more separately applied ladder rungs. You can read all of that clear and legible on the ends as well along with the coupler cut lever on that side. So, where this car sits apart from what you typically see in the industry, I'll show you the roof real quick, that's not it though, is the bottom. The bottom has lots and lots of detail. The airline, hoses, plumbing, brake actuation, all that is finely detailed below. And it runs up and around the trucks, up to under the coupler box. And then, of course, behind that even, you can see all the support beams and structure that's built to support the floor of the boxcar. 
Now we're going to take a look at the weight of this car. And in grams, it's 124. Ounces is 4.4. So we'll take a look at the length and see if that meets NMRA requirements. So at seven and a quarter inches, this car should be one ounce minimum plus half an ounce for each inch of the car. So you're looking at about 4.5 ounces, a little over, and this is 4.4. I think it's really close enough to call that good on the NMRA. The wheel sets are also engaged, and I need to show you that on camera if you trust me. Um, so, so far so good on NMRA standards. Speaking of NMRA standards, we have our KD height gauge here. And it appears to be a little low, but this gauge does not, there it goes, doesn't like this type of track here, let's see. It's angled slightly low. You'd be the judge. You're better angle and zoom than I have. I just want to show you what's going on. This doesn't want to stay on. There we go. Again, looks to be a sh slightly low, but just ever so slightly. So, again, you be the judge. Okay, car free rollingness. Has decent weight to it. I would not say this car drags, I just would say that I've seen cars that roll a lot freer than this car is rolling currently. Um, so, you know, will it weigh down your consist? A ton of these would definitely strain, you know, your consist a little bit, but it's not exactly dragging. It's just, it has that good weight. And part of that weight is to keep from body wobble, as you can see. As I move this to get it going, it does not wobble, it stops. So it's got that weight distributed, or distributed well, I should say, and it also um, has those trucks secured to the frame well enough so you don't have wobble. Well, that's gonna do it for our quick product review of the Aurora Miniatures HO scale Gunderson 6276 CF plate F boxcar. So hopefully you take a look at these if you want. Uh, they definitely fill a need. Lots of these box cars are all over consists in North America. So check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with a run by. Take care.